I did just want to put this up and just get your, do you understand this at all? This is, if you're listening, it's Kamala HQ's Twitter homepage. And the banner is says Kamala HQ in a very particular font, sort of blurry sans serif undercase in brat font. NATO, what what do you know of brat? <laughs> Look, uh, I know that people in that like millennials and Gen Z are super excited about it. Um, uh, like, I had a union friend who like sent sent me the brat album and i put it on the car and my kid was like this is not good so um, <laughs> so your but kid I, is gen z yeah but i was like this is not but my you know i have a gen z kid who like listens to david bowie um, yeah 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 with you taste know, did i did i tell you like my kid turned to me out of the blue the other day apropos of nothing and said daddy is pan-africanism fundamentally antagonistic to marxism um so like that's where my kid is so my kid is 16. what have you done yeah. and uh, can you raise my kid for me uh so um but the uh yeah the monster so, uh, you what did you say uh, oh i said yes i said um i mean it's kind I, of western it's it's eurocentric and western focused is that pan-Africanism is fundamentally antagonistic to Marxists, although Marxists participated in pan-Africanist movements because many pan-Africanist movements were cross-class alliances against European imperialism, but ended up being directed primarily to replacing European elites with African elites right. and, and didn't go as far as fundamentally transforming the economic system, which is what Marxists were after. All right. Uh, anyway, back to Brat, you anyway, fucking... Back back to brat is <laughs> that, the intellectual that, like i'm a i'm a gen xer brad is not for me it's not about me i'm glad people are excited i don't no. need to be involved i can't bear to be like that aging like jewish like comedy writer who's googling like brat. is this is this the new hyphy like what's going you know, on <laughs> you, know what, you know what it is okay wait really briefly uh before i tell you my experience with it so let's just hear someone who's even more clueless than we are i uh i just saw it on on instagram a couple of uh, younger people uh that uh i have you know that are connected to the instagram i said what is this you know what is this brat summer because i thought he was calling her a brat but it's it's not that uh, Kamala, uh, Kamala no. harris is a brat it's she is brat and uh and then I, I, I started listening to music and uh, I said, oh, wow. So we put out our own meme and, uh, and I'm immensely proud. I'm, I'm ahead of the curve with my colleagues. We've issued a meme, ladies and gentlemen. That's Representative uh, Mark Takano of California. I was saying uh, to Paige that California really does produce the cringiest politicians. You're welcome for Kamala Harris. They just, they exude, uh, they excel in cringe. Uh, Takano's 63 years old. Um, but yes, my introduction was basically the way my mom found out about Despacito, which was reading it in a New York Times article. The craze of Despacito, the Latin pop, uh, you know, like mashup uh, represent. I had to le listen to her read this New York Times article about Despacito out loud. And that's that is truly me when it comes to Brat, which is an album by Charlie XCX. And the reason we're talking about it is because Charlie herself, mind you, this is not some Hillary Clinton Pokemon go, go, go to the polls. This is not some hot sauce in my bag Hillary Clinton shit because Charlie the pop star brought this on herself by tweeting Kamala is brat capital I S brat and everyone lost their shit specifically Kamala HQ who immediately obviously changed their banner now here here is brat according to Charlie XCX um, Charlie says that the word brat is means you're just a girl who is a little messy and maybe says dumb things sometimes who feels herself like likes herself but then also maybe has a breakdown but parties through it it's honest blunt and a little bit volatile that's brat i feel like she's kind of right like kamala is brat like kamala is kind of a messy bitch like she's like kind of cackly we knew that like her campaign for president in 2020 was like super uh disorganized um, she says what she feels. 
uh, I don't think there's a lot going up. Like, I think she is smart, but I don't think she's necessarily like got a lot of convictions. Do you know what I mean? And she also wants to do what's popular. Like, she wants to party. Don't leave Brad at home. You know what I mean? Like, she wants to be at the party. Uh, can I say, so, is it, I mean, is, do we know that Charlie XCX is the correct pronunciation? I don't know. So, my my awareness of, of Charlie XCX uh, um, is, thank you, Paige, the, 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 uh, the youth have spoken. Um, the youth have spoken. So Paige is very upset, by the way. Paige is very upset that Kamala Harris has co-opted Brat because apparently Brat Summers ruined, according to Paige. But like I said, Charlie brought this on, you know, the world. Well, so Charlie did the music for the greatest movie. Uh, which Wait, is say it again. You cut out for a second. Charlie did the music for the greatest movie of 2023, uh, which was Bottoms. Oh, yes. Yes. Um, the 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 uh, uh, raunchy lesbian teen Fight Club comedy. Uh, That's why Rachel Sinnott was or Senate. I don't know. Sign Whatever. Up. That's why she was in uh, her music video. But anyway, we're getting right. we're getting sidetracked. Yeah. Uh, like I've probably seen that movie five times. Uh, it's a great movie. It is a, a great, great movie. movie. So got, got the Deb Marshawn Lynch, the Io Debris. It's all fire. I know it's Io Edebiri. See, I know that. I know how to pronounce some things. Fuck you. The point is, is it's it's a cringe. Get used to it. Kamala is cringe. Okay. I think we. And here's the other thing I want to say about Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris is peak dissociative politics. Like all the memes about her are ironic. All the memes with her and Brat being Brat are ironic. Everything is ironic because everyone is so dead inside and numb to everything because our world is so demonstrably worse than it was even four years ago. And yeah, we know we were in the middle of a fucking pandemic and things are somehow more perilous and scary now um, that like, we're just like, who cares? Are you kidding me? Let's just beat Donald Trump and then we will fucking fight this brat, I'm sorry, I will not say brat anymore. I will, we and then, will fight this uh, yeah. this president um, when she's in office, but Jesus Christ. And also that, like, she's, you know, th that so many politicians feel, like, so scripted and controlled and focus grouped and produced and, like, that she just seems that she is, like, you know, that she's, like, cackling and saying things where, it's, you know, it sounds like she's, you know, Hit, hits hits maybe had had a pill or a couple cocktails. She's feeling loose. <laughs> Definitely like a cocktail. You know, like the, yeah, like, she's like loose. What I what I what I so love about the coconut tree meme is that it's just like that perfect juxtap juxtaposition of something fucking ridiculous, the laugh, and then like prof like erudition, like profound insight with perfect syntax. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, like she thinks like she's writing term. She talks like she's writing term papers, and then you know that which you have become like no, nobody talks that way. Um. Well, you know, for old times' sake, uh, I agree with you, and then let's enjoy. You think you just fell out of a coconut tree? <laughs> you exist in the context of all in which you live and what came before you. <laughs> I you love, I love okay. my favorite part of this is when she starts to be like, and now I'm gonna be, I'm gonna do the fireside chat. First I'm gonna do drunk mom, <laughs> a fireside chat. Like, the two things I love about this is that no one in the room laughs, only her, yeah. <laughs> number one. So she's killing herself. And then number two, you exist in the context and then the pause. Then the hold for poignancy, like it's like like I am so ready for like you know for like just to, to, to like do I don't and once you know sure they're gonna call. I don't mind like I you know as presidents go like when Bill Clinton was on the radio like it made my skin crawl mm -hmm. uh, when Donald Trump was on the radio it made my skin crawl like I am so ready for like you know President Harris to just be like saying like crazy shit all the time yeah you know like every press conference uh, just to be like you know uh like the pudding's ready or whatever and then like and that's why you know 
rent control for everybody. Or, you know, just like some, <laughs> some like that one too. We need, we, you got to like, get your moles checked. You got everyone needs. I had a dug at a big mole, and that's why we need Medicare for all. We everybody yeah. is entitled. <laughs> like that, I love it. Just like you know, it's and you know what the other thing is. People are attacking her. Uh, obviously, the right is for not having kids. Uh, Will Chamberlain, blue check mark on X, says real simple, under discussed reason why Kamala shouldn't be president: no children. But like. That I feel like it. We maybe we're ready for like, like, f like fun and, you know, drunk and energy. You know, like America needs some of that. Well, but doesn't Doug have children? Oh, but that doesn't count. I don't know if you've been paying attention l lately, NATO. But um, Republicans have decided that um, children of your spouse that you actually that live with you that you raise uh, d don't count. They've done that for now many years. Like, oh, oh! So it's like their position is like, even though those children call her mom and she's there, she thinks of herself as their mom and has like mom type relationship with them because it didn't directly like smash up her pussy. Yep, it doesn't count. Nope. Oh mm. yeah, especially I mean they're about, they're going after surrogacy and everything. Um, but you know what? Look, you as, know as what? I've had about had it with these Republicans. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'm going to vote for him no more. What's going on, Frantifa? If you haven't already, subscribe to this channel right now. Hit that button. And also, you can become a patron and support the show every single week. Get access to bonus episodes and exclusive merchandise. Patreon.com slash Bituation Room. Do it.